Good evening and welcome to the November 18, 2024 regular meeting of the Mayor and City Council. And actually, I didn't get someone to do the pledge. Oh, Tom's going to do the pledge. Okay. Uh, if everyone can please rise, our first agenda item is Pledge of Allegiance. And Tom Lonergan Seeger is going to lead us. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for stepping up, Tom. Appreciate that. Next item on our agenda is reflection, and I'd like to call for a moment of silence, please. Thank you all. Um, next on our agenda is approval of minutes. Tonight we have two sets of minutes before us. The first is from the work session on Monday, October 28th. What is the pleasure of the council? Mr. Mayor, I move approval of the minutes of the meeting of October 28th, 2024. Second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Okay, carries 5-0. Next we have the minutes from the regular meeting on Monday, November 4th. What is the pleasure of the council? May I move for the approval of the minutes from the regular session on Monday, November 4th? Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. And abstain. Okay, so that carries 4-0 with one abstention from council member Wu. Next, uh, we have appointments and we are going to um, establish and appoint our ad hoc mayor and city council compensation review committee. Uh, we have a set of nominees. What is the pleasure of the council? Mr. Mayor, I move approval of the resolution establishing an ad hoc mayor and city council compensation review committee, confirming the appointments made by you to Joe Abdo of Washingtonian Woods, Brian Epstein of Washingtonian Woods, Tiffany Kelly of Shady Grove Village, Jordan Miller of Old Town, Salil Parik from Park Summit, Trevor Ruzik from Timberbrook for an indefinite term. Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Okay, uh, we will have our compensation review committee. Um, Kim is here. Uh, I don't want to put you on the spot, I guess, uh, but I, I am kind of curious about when when that starts, what the timeline is. Kim, do you want to talk, speak to that, or should we? You want to just get back to us on that? I'll get back. To you. Okay, she's she for the record, she's going to get back to us. Okay, great. Uh, well, thank you, thank you very much for um, to everyone who's serving on this committee. Next, we have um, appointments to the transportation committee. What is the pleasure of council? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to move approval of your ap uh, appointments to the Transportation Committee for a two-year term for Mark O'Connor of Pheasant Run, Stacy Simon of Orchard Hills, term to expire on November of 2026. Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Okay, um, Mark and Stacy are appointed, and um, I'm sure that they're watching or will be watching. We thank them. And again, I'll remind everyone that serving on a city committee is a great way to get involved um, in local public affairs. Our committees are, um, provide meaningful uh, feedback and recommendations to the mayor and council. And uh, in service, you get to meet other like-minded, civic-minded people and learn how the city works. It's a really good thing. So we thank them for serving and encourage people to serve on our committees. Next, we have a proclamation, and I'm going to invite Tom Lonergan Seeger to meet me at the podium. This is for Small Business Saturday. Thank you. Oh, you have it. Yep. Good evening. Um, scheduled between the retail behemoths of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, Small Business Saturday highlights the importance of shopping locally, whether for goods or services. American Express created the holiday in 2010 with the goal of encouraging support for local shops and small online retailers. In Gaithersburg, the day celebrates not only retailers, but also the many other types of small independent employers that contribute to the local economy throughout the year. 
All right, proclamation of the Mayor and City Council of Gaithersburg. Whereas the Mayor and City Council of the City of Gaithersburg, Maryland, celebrate the entrepreneurial spirit of our local small business owners whose resourcefulness and ingenuity are key forces in driving the economy of our city. And whereas our city's small businesses span an exceptionally wide range of industries, including retail, food service, healthcare, professional and technical fields. And whereas Gaithersburg small business owners have realized success through their vision, hard work and commitment to operating a, a business daily, and their efforts are critical to building a prosperous future for our community. And whereas advocacy groups and public and private organizations across the country have endorsed the Saturday after Thanksgiving a Small Business Saturday. Now, therefore, I, Judd Ashman, by the power vested in me as mayor of Gaithersburg, do hereby proclaim the Saturday after Thanksgiving, November 30th, 2024, to be Small Business Saturday within the city of Gaithersburg and encourage the continued support and development of our small businesses and merchants throughout the year. Proclaim this 18th day of November 2024, signed by me. And let's give Tom a big round of applause for accepting another proclamation. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well done. He's amassing quite a collection yes. of our proclamations. <laughs> okay. Next on our agenda is public comments. So this is the time the mayor and council would like to hear from anybody who'd like to speak on any topic other than a public hearing topic, and we actually have no public hearings tonight. So any city topic you'd like to speak about, we ask that you state your name and address or neighborhood if you feel more comfortable. Keep your comments no more than three minutes. Um, do we have anybody in the room who'd like to testify this evening? Okay. Not seeing anybody in the room. Let me ask on Zoom. Is there anybody on Zoom who'd like to speak? Um, under public comments tonight, just use the raise hand function and I'll call on you. There's one person in our Zoom room right now and his, his hand is not going up. So, um, okay, well, we will close public comments for the evening. But if anybody thinks of anything they'd like to tell us, feel free to email it to us at cityhall at gaithersburgmd.gov. We are going to move to from the mayor and council and... I didn't give him any warm warning, but we're starting with Council Member Rob Wu. Um, your turn to go first tonight. Um, I don't got nothing, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's a Thanks. double negative. Okay. Love it, though. Okay, we'll go to Neil. All right, thank you, Mayor. So, um, I just like so we had a session uh, several meetings ago about uh, about sa pedestrian safety on our roadways, and I'd like to uh, thank the county who was, uh, I guess, saw my testimony at the uh, Maryland Department of Transportation Roadshow where I pointed out uh, a number of accidents, including a couple of fatalities that occurred on Great Seneca Highway between Quince Orchard and Muddy Branch. And uh, Montgomery County Department of Transportation has agreed to review the, the road and see what can be done to make some improvements and save lives. So we should hear back from them in a couple of months. I think they promised to have some results by the middle of January. And uh, so honestly, I was trying to get the state to do something, but somebody taking action is, uh, is great. And I'm grateful for, to Rich Maddalino uh, and Chris Conklin at the county for stepping up. So thanks, guys. That's it for now. Okay, thanks, Neil. We'll go to Lisa. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I um, attended several events over the, the last week, uh, week and a half maybe. Um, the principals and counselors breakfast, which is always bright and early <laughs> and awesome. It's always a, um, nice to see the, the folks who support their, our schools and, and our children um, to be able to get together and say thank you to them. Uh, to our, for our Veterans Day event, which you know staff always does an amazing job for that event, and um, I almost helped uh, Councilmember Hernandez carry the wreath, but he handled the heavy thing <laughs> on his own. <laughs> so that was that was that's always a, a good good ceremony. Um, and uh, went to the Restore the Joy Empowerment Luncheon um, hosted by uh, Judith Clark and her uh, women's. Um, Domestic, against Domestic Violence Association. And uh, as I was telling the mayor earlier, it was 
the room was filled with people of bif- different backgrounds, ethnicity, religious backgrounds, race. And when Judith spoke, she touched every <coughs> single person in that room. She she had that ability, and it was quite a luncheon. And um, as the kids say, she also got bars. <laughs> she did a rap, which was two, actually, which was the second one. I, I'm pretty sure she was freestyling. So, she uh, was. <laughs> yeah. she so, was. so it was pretty, pretty amazing. I could could have done that whole thing again um, right after. Um, and then uh, lastly, today we walked uh, the Pheasant Run neighborhood uh, as part of the P- pedestrian safety initiative. initiative. It was great that the community came out to, to show us where the problem areas are. Um, it wasn't hard to figure it out because even as we were standing there, we could, you know, see see the traffic going by at rates that they shouldn't have, uh, stop signs being rolled through. So y- you see you see the issues. So I'm glad we took the walk. Um, and the neon vests that, that Brian and and uh, Don Don were wearing uh, helped somewhat. <laughs> helped a little for people to slow down. But I will warn everyone that there is now a brand new speed camera on, on long draft. So I would suggest that you slow down or or you know participate in helping the county with their with their tax taxes. So I would um actually slow down on long draft because there's a brand new speed camera there. All right, that's that is it. Okay. Oh you have a oh and yep and an announcement. Um a closed meeting was held in person by the mayor and city council on Tuesday, November 12, 2024, at approximately 8.58 p.m., pursuant to a motion adopted unanimously. The session was proposed to be closed pursuant to the general provision article of the Annotated Code of Maryland, Section 3-305B1I. The appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom it has jurisdiction. The topic discussed was a personnel matter to conduct the city attorney's biannual performance review. Present at the meeting were Mayor Ashman, Council Members Harris, Henderson, Hernandez, McNulty, and Wu. Upon conclusion of the discussion, the closed executive session was adjourned at approximately 10.05 p.m. Thank you very much. We'll go to Jim. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to associate myself with uh, Council Member Henderson's uh, remarks regarding the Restore the Joy uh, luncheon. Uh, it was quite something. Uh, Judy is is a, a unique talent. Um, I, I, I would love to have her uh, warming us up before any meeting. Um, but that was that was quite something. And, you know, just the work that they do with survivors um, really touched me and, and my own experience of survivorship in a different way. Um, but something that I've learned is that survivors in general all share a common bond. And it was just really powerful for me to be there. And I really appreciated uh, her incredible words and uh, wish them well as they continue on their, um, on their mission to, to help um, particularly women uh, in our county and our city. Um, the only thing I really want to say tonight is really a, a point of um, personal privilege. Um, my, uh, <clears throat> uh, we lost my father-in-law yesterday, um, Gerard Finnegan, um, and after a, basically a 20 year battle with cancer. Um, and the last few months, um, have been pretty challenging. So it is, a, it is a blessing, but it's always difficult. So I just want to, um, you know, extend my deepest condolences to Amy's, um, family, uh, my, uh, her stepmother, Kathy, her sister's. Megan and Colleen, um, and their and uh, Megan's uh, daughter. Uh, Megan's actually expecting a baby in the next few weeks in Germany. Um, so, um, you know, anytime you experience loss like this is really challenging. So, I just uh, would ask for your your prayers and good wishes for uh, the Finnegan family, and uh, thank you for uh, the time, Mr. Mayor. That'll be all. We certainly express our condolences to Amy and her family and to you. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Jamil. All right, Mr. Mayor, I have an announcement. Uh, Notice to the general public is hereby given that the mayor and city council plan to conduct a council and the community's meeting on Wednesday, December 4th, 2024 at 7 p.m. Location is the Benjamin Gaither Center, 80 Bureau Drive, Gaithersburg, Maryland, 20878. The meeting is being held for residents in the below vicinity, neighborhoods 
of Bennington, Dorsey Estates, Jones Hill, Longdraft Oaks, and Watkins Mill Town Center. Apartments Diamond Square and the Gateway, Condominiums, Parklands, and Watkins Mill Town Center. For more information or if accessibility accommodations are needed, please contact Neighborhood Services Division Manager Sebastian Andion at sebastian.andion at gettysburgmd.gov or 240-805-1037. Thank you. That's it, Mr. Mayor. That's it. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, so several, there are several events I'm surprised you guys didn't mention. Um, this morning we cut the ribbon on Pleasant View Park, our, our newest park in our uh, <coughs> over or close to 900 acres of Right, nine hundred acres. Is that what it said this no. morning? I would nine love acres. That, but nine no, acres. nine hundred. No, that that park is nine acres, but I think it's nine hundred in total um, of the city oh, that is parkland. Oh, oh, all parkland. Oh, all, all yeah. the parkland. Making it up. <laughs> no, I'm not making it up. <laughs> <laughs> Comes from our parks, recreation, and culture master plan. We're going to go out with tape measures and check yeah. that. I hope you do. <laughs> um, it was it, it, today was as you know if you've spent any time outside. It was a beautiful day. And it was a beautiful time at the park. It's a great new facility on Route 28, um, just, I guess, west of, of Muddy Branch Road. Um, hope you check it out. It's, it's uh, got a lot of great facilities there. Um, mention, uh, we had a wonderful Veterans Day service a week ago um, here at, or across the street at City Hall uh, at the pavilion. Very well attended, really nice service. Um, the week before that, we had a Maryland Municipal League Fall Conference. Um, last week, several of us toured uh, the ReWorld, in, uh, the county's incinerator slash power generator over at Dickerson. And that was quite a facility. I'm really glad we got to do that tour. And I want to thank um, Board of Education member uh, Rebecca Smondrowski for setting that up for us. Um, Want to just a couple words about the election um, that happened since the last meeting? Um, it was, I'm sure, I don't, I certainly don't want to get partisan up here, um, but you know, it was kind of a mixed bag for everybody. And, and I just wanted to say that elections come and go, but our community remains our community, uh, our values remain, and our fabric is strong, and we will work together for you and with you as we always do. Um, whether you're happy about the results of the election or not happy or mixed, um, Gaithersburg is Gaithersburg and we, we're here to serve and work with everybody and make, you know, keep our city the greatest in the world. Um, and I will also note that since, as I get into my uh, formal announcement that we will not have a uh, work session next Monday, November 25th, because of the Thanksgiving holiday. So I want to thank, I want to wish everybody uh, in advance a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I know I speak uh, on behalf of everybody at the Stais, including our staff, when I say that we are so grateful to uh, to be here uh, together in this community and serve this community every day. It is a blessing, and it's. It's definitely something I will be thinking of when I'm with my family um, at that dinner about how grateful I am to be in this role. I'm sure we all have similar feelings about that. The next regular meeting of the Mayor and Council will be on Monday, December 2nd, uh, 2024, and you can participate in person um, or you could participate over Zoom or you can just watch us on YouTube. Either way. Um, so now we have to have a motion to conduct a closed executive session, and Councilmember McNulty is going to read the motion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the Mayor and City Council of the City of Gaithersburg conduct a closed executive session immediately following its session tonight, Monday, November 18th, 2024, pursuant to the General Provisions Article of the Annotated Code of Maryland, Section 3-305B1I, the appointment, employment, assignment, promotion, discipline, demotion, compensation, removal, resignation, or performance evaluation of appointees, employees, or officials over whom it has jurisdiction. <clears throat> Excuse me. The topic to be discussed is a personnel matter to discuss the assignment of an acting city attorney. Do we have a second? second. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. K carries 5-0. We will have that executive session immediately after this meeting. Next, we have <clears throat> from the city manager, Tanisha. 
Nothing to report this evening, Your Honor. Just happy Thanksgiving to everyone. All right. Thank you. Uh, next economic development update, Tom Lonergan Seeger. Thank you, Mayor. Just one item tonight. Uh, the Housing and Community Development Division has relaunched the Affordable Housing Purchase Program, AHP, where any available new or resale affordable properties will be posted. Speaking of that, just today, a three-bedroom, three-bath townhome with garage constructed in 2021 was listed as a resale opportunity for eligible buyers. Households interested in applying to purchase this or any affordable home that becomes available through the city's AHP program must meet certain requirements, uh, must be a first time home buyer, meet the program's income uh, uh, eligibility standards, take required trainings as offered by Montgomery County, and frankly, be prepared to purchase a home. This involves obtaining financing and paying the fees associated with buying a property. For more information about the resale property that is now available, and to learn more about the city's affordable housing purchase program, please visit the city's website, gaithersburgmd.gov, and scroll to housing services under the services tab, or send an email to Brittany Marinello at mpdu at gaithersburgmd.gov. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see, we're gonna move into ordinances, resolutions, and regulations, and Mark Scafidi, you are up. We're gonna talk about uh, snow removal, contract for snow removal. Good evening, Mayor and City Council. The resolution before you tonight is to authorize the city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract for snow removal services. On July 26, 2024, the city issued RFP 2025-002 for supplemental <coughs> snow removal services. On August 30th, 2024, four proposals were received. Benny's Exterior has su su sufficient vehicles to perform the work. Their hourly rate was the lowest of the four proposals. The proposed contract term for the contract will be for FY25 with two optional renewal terms, one year each, 2026 and 2027. This contract only supplements the city's snow removal services. City staff will still continue to perform 95% of the snow removal operation services in the city. Staff recommends award of the supplemental snow removal services contract to Benny's Exterior LLC and the amount not to exceed $145,000 annually. There are sufficient funds in the operating budget under 1312 536400. Do you have any questions for me? Thank you, Mark. Questions, comments? Um, Neil. <clears throat> does, this, does this budget have to get spent regardless of whether there's snow or not? No, it does not. So we do pay a retainer fee for $3,000 <laughs> a truck per season, but that, that is it. So if we don't get any snow, we won't use the funds. All right, great. You want to move the resolution? I hereby move the resolution. I hereby second. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I hereby aye. say aye. Thank you. <laughs> Any opposed say nay. Okay, carries 5-0. <coughs> Next, we're going to do police vehicles. Mark. Yes, so good evening, Mayor and City Council. The resolution before you tonight is to authorize the city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract for the purchase of 10 police vehicle vehicles. These 10 units were scheduled for replacement in the FY25 budget due to their age and condition. Staff wishes to utilize the Baltimore County contract MA4503 to purchase these vehicles. Criswell Performance Cars has provided the city a quote in the amount of 426,000 $790 for 10 2025 Dodge Durango police pursuit vehicles. Utilizing the Baltimore County contract meets all requirements under the city's procurement policy. Staff recommends utilizing the Baltimore County contract MA4503 with Criswell Performance Cars in the amount not to exceed 426000 Seven hundred and ninety dollars. Do you have any questions for me? Go ahead, Mr. Mayor. I just thought of this, and and 
and uh, maybe we've discussed this before, but um, what do we, how do we dispose of the other vehicles? And I suppose we just get a trade in. <laughs> no, we don't. So we sell them on um, gov deals. Okay. So it's put out to the public and um, actually over the last several years, we've been really getting much more than we were getting when we traded in the vehicles before. So it's been really good for the city. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Rob, can we uh, get that sweet stealth markings that the county vehicles have? <laughs> <laughs> that would be up to the chief and his staff. They're nice. Well, with that, do you want to move the resolution? I hereby move the resolution. <laughs> Second. Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed say nay. Okay, carries 5-0. Next, we have more police vehicles. Okay, one right more ahead. time. Good evening, Mayor and City Council. <laughs> the resolution before you tonight is to authorize the city manager to negotiate and enter into a contract for the purchase of four police vehicles. Four police vehicles were approved in the FY25 budget as new additions to the fleet. Staff wishes to utilize the Maryland State Contract 001B460226 to purchase these vehicles. Apple Ford has provided the city a quote in the amount of 189000 320 dollars for for Ford 2025 police interceptor utility all-wheel drive vehicles utilizing the state of Maryland contract meets all requirements under the city's purchase procurement policy staff recommends utilizing the state of Maryland contract 001b 4600226 with Apple Ford in the amount not to exceed $189,000, $189,320. There are sufficient funds in the police operating budget. Do you have any questions for me? Questions, comments. These are different kind of cars. They are. So these, these are four, two separate these four are hybrids. So they're um, coming from Apple Ford. So, yep. Yep. Now I know we had that work session is because you, you want to avoid all the stupid questions today. Truck vehicles. <laughs> There's never a stupid question. Thank Only you. good questions. Well played, yeah. Mark Scafidi. <laughs> well done. Um, do we have someone who wants to move this resolution? So moved. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed, say nay. <clears throat> okay, carries 5 0. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Uh, next, uh, from the acting city attorney. Anything, Frank? I have no, <clears throat> no updates tonight. Okay. Anything from any other staff? Not seeing anything. Okay. Well, I will remind everyone, we do not have a work session next Monday, November 25th. Um, we wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I will remind people that Winter Lights starts. There are uh, three special events this weekend or, yeah, over the next weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, for Winter Lights. So look it up on the uh, city website. I think one's more lights. One is the run under the lights, right? The other is... Leashes and lights? Yes. Something like that. That's usually the order. Pretty things. good for memory. <laughs> um, and then winter lights starts in earnest the night after Thanksgiving. So, um, and you remember, you cannot buy tickets there. You have to buy tickets in advance online. So um, until next time, uh, our next regular meeting, Monday, December 2nd. Until next time, let's do great things, Gaithersburg. We are adjourned. <laughs>